British artist Damien Hirst is unveiling a new exhibition at his London gallery showcasing the big, bold and shiny works of US artist Jeff Koons. Widely regarded as one of the most significant and controversial contemporary artists, Koons is known for his toy-like, inflatable style sculptures. With an exhibition featuring the distinct works of Jeff Koons, London's Newport Street Gallery looks like an amusement park. Spanning more than 35 years of the American artist's long career, Jeff Koons now displays some of the best pieces drawn from UK art guru Damien Hirst's private collection. Damien first saw Jeff, Jeff's work back in 88 uh, at, a, at a Saatchi, the Saatchi Gallery um, at, a gal at a show called Art Now. Um, so there's, there's sort of some spurious connection there, but uh, now is more connected with um, Jeff's work. I mean, it has a, 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 the eternal uh, in it, and the word now is quite an eternal word. This is Kuhn's first solo exhibit in the UK since 2009, and features more than 30 works, including paintings and sculptures. His inflatable series also continues to draw a lot of attention. He was very interested in the idea of that it relates to our art, the, hum the human. Um, we, we inhale, we ex which he sees as a metaphor for life, and exhale as a metaphor for death. And that's kind of the root of, all the, of where all this work has come from, really. Equally surprising for the audience is the artwork known as the Acrobat. Well, I could give you a very in-depth art historical lecture about all of the references that are in there, but actually they're not so important. Uh, you don't need to know them in order to get, you know, the pleasure from seeing a lobster standing on its head. Instead, Kuhn's inspiration for his most colourful piece, Play-Doh, was a small lump of modelling clay fashioned by his son. The childhood sculptures are trying to take us right back to our earliest form of communication, how we sculpt with Play-Doh or plasticine. You know, it's wonderful how, how we touch and feel, messy play. And it's trying to get rid of our inhibitions and it's also trying to say, listen, everything and anything is, is art. Some view the artist's work as pioneering. Some call it kitsch. Once named the world's most expensive living artist, Kuhn's work is definitely still eye-catching. Jeff Kuhn's now will run until October 16.